How to make a lid with flanges for your clay slab box. First thing you want to do is measure the parameters of your box on the slab that you already cut for your lid. So center it within that piece of clay and take your sculpting tool and just draw a very light line around. With your wooden dowel, use that as a straight edge and also as a marker to mark a half inch in from the line you just drew. Your flanges are going to lay within that area, so it's a good idea to mark that off with an X. Your flanges should not exceed or go outside of that X zone. Score within that area. This is where you're going to lay your flanges. And to begin, you can just lay one on top to measure. And you can either use the butt joint or if you want to try something different, this is a corner joint. Cutting a right angle 45 degree angle and then laying it on top of another strip that you've pre-cut and just making a second one exactly the same length. So now you have two and to cut the sides you're just going to lay it on top and measure and then duplicate that side on an, with another piece of clay that you have already pre-cut. So you should have two sides equal and then two sides equal in length. Score your flanges and then use water or slip and being careful to lay them inside that area with the X. In fact you can pull them in a little bit so there's a little bit of wiggle room Try to get your angles, your corner angles, to be right angles. Weld your corners on the top. Pretty much everywhere where there's a joinery, you're going to weld. So you're also going to weld the inside. Notice I'm not hacking it up. I'm just gently welding. You want to maintain the integrity of the of the flange. You're just trying to connect it to the lid. You won't need any reinforcement coils for this if you weld it properly. Make sure you go around the, all of the outside connection points as well as all of the inside connection points. Take your time and go slowly and carefully so you don't distort the flange. Make sure you get the inside corners as well. Then you can smoothen it over with a damp sponge and make sure it's nicely connected and it looks good. So now we're going to adjust the the lid to fit the box. So you're going to place the box on top of the lid and mark the area around it gently. And then you're going to use your straight edge and cut that line, cut those lines that you made on all four sides. And notice that I'm not actually cutting exactly the line, but I'm cutting a little bit on the outside of the line so that there's a slight overhang of the box, or sorry, uh, of the lid on the box. And you do that with all four sides. So now it's starting to look like a lid 
with the flange. And check the fit and there should be a slight wiggle room. Um, and then you're going to do just a, a little bit of refining on the lid. Double check the right angles. You can use your straight edge, your triangle to press in the sides a little bit. And spend a few minutes smoothing out the corners, the edges, so they're not super sharp. That's a very damp sponge, or sorry, a lightly damp sponge. Use your rib or straight tool to smooth out the top. And if you have any dips or dents, you can add a little bit of clay to fill those in. Essentially, you're just refining it. And there's your box.